Beautiful truck. Just like the um, CDL guys that drive commercial trucks, we have daily safety checks and, and uh, sure. maintenance checks, right? So in order to do that, we did make that very, very convenient for this kind of truck, and it's an industry exclusive. Oh, the whole front opens. So look at everything that. that you need to look at is right here. And what's even cooler for short guys like me, we can actually kneel the truck by pushing this button and then it lowers the suspension of the front all the way down and it becomes even more accessible. So wow. I can check my water, my diesel fuel filters, and uh, you know, check my fuel, uh, sorry, my fluid level, my, uh, my fluid, and so on and so forth. Wow. And so that makes it just a little easier. Look at I can have my kids drive it then. <laughs> Just kneel it, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, ground level maintenance. And when you start it back up, it takes about two, two to three seconds and it charges back up the suspension and you're just back up and running. You don't even feel it, it just wow. does it automatically. Do you uh, drain these tanks at the end of the day? The air tanks? The air tanks? Well, yeah. so that's very interesting. I tend to do that just for optics because what happens is sometimes when it sits for like a few days, it can um, discharge unevenly between left and right and it will kneel kind of a little bit leaning over and it doesn't look good. Gotcha. So I actually will do that, but normally operators never okay. do that. Yeah, okay. It would just be irrelevant. So if you come back the next morning, this thing, the airbags may be full and yeah. you hit the, yeah. the kneel button. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So I know we have a, a, an easier, more convenient uh, way to service it and do your daily checks compared to some of the competitors. Where else do these haul trucks um, excel from our competitors? Yeah, so at this juncture, uh, we are really industry leading from a reliability and definitely from a safety standpoint. All of these automation features that I've shown to you. He was trying to get me to break the thing. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, nope. protecting the truck and the operator and the crew on the uh, ground. And a lot of those features like auto dump and uh, a lot of the other features that we didn't even explore yet from a productivity tracking standpoint are industry exclusive. So it has a cycle counter uh, and you can use it for ticketing and for loadout. I told you that there's a scale on the truck mm -hmm. and all of those things can automatically be reported in JD Link and be actually used for billing and all of that kind of stuff. Okay. So uh, those would be some of the things that I would cite that are uh, pretty exclusive here at this country. It used to be that we were going really head to head um, with Volvo and Volvo was kind of considered like the haul truck. Mm -hmm. At this juncture what we're seeing in the market is that we're actually not going head to head anymore but we're winning out of the market and we're um, proceeding to become a leader. Sure, sure. So very exciting for John Deere. That's good. And look it's got a light yep. on the inside so yeah. you open oh, yeah. this up. Right. That's your, really cool. There, if your oil or fueler comes after hours. That's great. Yeah, it's kind of a, not a good situation to try to do it in the dark. It just makes it super clean. That's great. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful truck. Uh, I think we're All right, guys, comment below if you got questions on this. We'll get you some answers.